Welcome to I See the Light and Prophet is Regina. I'm lighting back with another one. God bless. God bless all. Hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations. And you're not letting anybody dim your light. Today is January the 24th, 2024. And I'm here to give a message on the behalf of my heavenly father, my, my sweet Jesus and the Holy Spirit. I love you and I'll never let you go. Hmm. What a blessing it is just to say I made it to another day. Although the, the 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 problems may still be here from yesterday. But God is too. So I'm here to praise God. So I'm going to come at you with what I had wrote yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to do. And this is a little different. Because it is a different. So at this time I'm going to freestyle me a prayer. A good prayer for the people today Lord Jesus. I don't know. I'm going to pray for your people, Lord. I'm going to pray for the for um the spirit to, to touch the people at this time. So at this time, I want to ask you all to please respect the Lord and God bless all. And I thank all for your support, your love, your energy you send to me and how you, you're trying to inspire me to keep going. I appreciate every last one of you. Every last one of you. Thank you. God bless you. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you now praising your holy, holy name. I come with agreement of the people today to, to thank you for the spirit that you pour upon us all. Your love is so appreciated. Lord, you didn't have to wake us up this morning and everybody that did not wake up. Those people are closer to you today. We pray for the people that have passed on in spirit. We pray for their families that are in mourning that are in grief at this time. Lord, your promise to us, we, we hold dear to our hearts. And that is that we are, we are saved. We are, we are forgiven. And we are loved unconditionally by you. We're here to praise you. Thank you. And glorify your name. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit that leads us, teaches us, guides us, guides us, and walks through the scriptures with us so that we can get a better understanding of who you are, your mighty power, and your glorious, wonderful miracles, Lord. Somebody needs a miracle today. Somebody needs some understanding today. Somebody needs a loving touch from you today. And I pray that they get it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We lift you up, Lord Jesus. We tell people about you and we love you and we praise you every day, every day, morning, noon, and night. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Forgive my nose is a little stopped up. So... I'm helping a friend out today move a few things. So I'm taking a break. Go back and help her finish. I was going to go and take me a hot shower, change my clothes, and prepare myself for tomorrow. God is good. I got an interview in the morning. Look at God. Look at God. I'm so I'm so thankful. Even and and I actually got a um a job offer which I had to decline on because if I know that what my body can take i would right now mentally i could take it but my body physically cannot working in a factory with frozen meat all day cutting it up dicing it up and here i am trying to slow down on meat i went today and got a burger and something really cheap and when i said my stomach started doing a, a bubble I don't think I can like this anymore. These fast food restaurants, God forgive, don't don't want to get in trouble. So I won't go into it. But it wasn't it wasn't pleasing, and it and when I bit into it thinking it was gonna taste one way, and it didn't taste the way I thought it was gonna taste, I'm I'm like, man, I cannot believe it's like my my my, my taste buds don't like this anymore. They put so much salt on my fries, and I'm like, oh man. Mm -mm. Anyway. So I, t I was about to take a hot shower uh, and um, over, over my peep's house, right? And they hit me up to t come and help them. So I'm still um, feeling yucky. But until I get done helping them, then I could take care of myself. And I had a little incident today 
that I got to take care of. I messed around and made another boo-boo, y'all. But God is going to work it out. Regardless of what I'm going through, it's going to get worked out. See, because these troubles keep piling up on me and trying to distract me. Like, boom, boom, boom. But it's like, a you know, like the bumper cars. It just boom, boom, booping me around. But guess what? It's like an ice skater that's learning how to skate for the first time. I fall down, I get up. I fall down and I get up. We fall down, but we get up. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. What what you can do to me, you can do to me. But you can't kill me because I'm, I'm touched by the Lord. And I'm going to keep on prevailing in the name of Jesus. <coughs> I want to say hi to the apostle at this time. God bless you, apostle. Um, thank you for supporting me and inspiring me to keep continue to can keep going on god bless you let's see what else um so yesterday forgive yesterday i decided to decode the word decode it <laughs> and i came up with the angel number 40 from the word i decoded so this is what i got and this is what I was led near. And this is what I'm going to speak on. And I'm going to be going on about my merry way. Because the way I'm looking, I'm a little rough and tough. But I'm going to get better when I take this good hot shower later on. And um, I'm going to feel so much better. Okay? So, the angel number 40, 40 encourages you to take action and not just think about it. You need to be willing to put in the work and create a plan to achieve your goals. You have the strength to do this. Make sure you stay motivated and stay true to yourself. God flooded the earth for 40 days and nights. Moses fasted for 40 days and Jesus wandered in the wilderness for 40 days. Overall, it's a number associated with the testing and the hardships one must endure to become more spiritually aware. It says the number 40 is mentioned over 150 times. It's said that Jesus repeatedly appeared to his disciples over a period of 40 days and then miraculously, miraculously ascended into the presence of God. The Bible says he was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. We're coming at you with Acts 1 and 9. Forgive my nose is itching. It says, And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight. 10. They were looking intentionally, uh, intense, ten, tentally up into the sky as he was going. When suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee. Men of Galilee. Galilee. <laughs> They said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into the heaven. God, Lord Jesus, is coming back. Soon and very soon, huh, he'll be here. The presence of God is here. The, the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the spirit is all around us every day. Will, will we ever get to see that miracle when that cloud opens up and the Lord comes out the sky in his sweet chariot? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that I feel the presence of the Lord all around me, regardless of what I'm going through. Doesn't he give me joy? Regardless of what people tell me. Regardless of how people treat me. Regardless of people, what people think about me. Regardless. God loves me. And I love God. That is my message. That is the decode of the, the word decode. Decode it. I decode it, decode it. <laughs> and that's what it led me to. Look at God. It said be inspired. 
regardless of the struggles you go through isn't that the isn't that what the word of the lord is about they they try throw throw stones at you put you down see my my sermons my message is always the same god knows i get tired god knows the devil's on my back i know the devil's on my back i'm like get off my back devil that devil going to keep on riding because I keep on speeding the hot fire truth. And I'm going to do it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So that is the message today. And whatever comes my way, whatever stumbling box, stumble, trip me up, I'm still going to stay in the spirit of the Lord. I'm still going to continue to praise his holy name. As long as this raggedy phone turn on, and I say that. With um with good intentions, not bad ones. Everything I do, I want to do it with good intentions. When I mess up, it's only a mistake. When I when I um I, I I'm slowful. God forgive me. Speed these legs up. Lord, protect me from my enemies. Lord, keep me sane. Lord, keep me strong. I said this body. Lord has shown me that this body that He put me in is way more stronger than I ever could have imagined. The Lord showed me my mind is sharper than what they used to say it was. See, I was going on what they said, but I'm going on what the Lord says in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I won't let nobody stop me from my blessings. And I won't let nobody block my blessings. Nobody's going to block my blessings. And I can't wait to get in this hot shower and take me a good old soapy hot shower and be thankful for it. Be thankful. I'm thankful, Lord. I'm thankful, Lord, regardless. I'm thankful for this little piece of bread right here. I'm thankful for the word of God. He's my daily bread, and I won't stop. And until you close these big old eyes, God is love, and that is the truth. God bless one.